I'm signed off the budget for the wedding at last. Yeah, and you cut it by loads, you stingy old beast. <laughs> he what? wants everyone to walk there. He was like, transport, <laughs> f*** that. They can make their own way there. I was like, what? You're like so selfish. He parted my cheeks and inhaled my bum like it was a ventilator. <laughs> no, I'm really upset. What oh, the f***? He's got problems. Who's the England captain? John Terry. <laughs> I literally told you you couldn't say that before getting here, so that's not going on anywhere. <laughs> I don't get what part of your brain thinks that you can say that. I feel a bit pukey today. You look small and squat. <laughs> no, you look. What? Do you know what Sophie keeps saying? You, you said this last night. You were bubble, like, you bat, look. Bubble, 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 bubble. You are just never happy with anything. I think you look so wonderful. No, you said last night. Your nipples look phenomenal in particular. You dare mention that. Show the listeners. No, that's unfair. That is absolutely. Give them a little preview. That's absolutely. You've sold me out there. Give them. If you're going to kick the podcast off like that, listen. If you don't want to hold anything back, sister. Sister act. I have nothing to hold back. All right, Whoopi. Whoopi and (laughs) Goldberg. We said sister act, so I oh. brought it in there. You right, can't, Whoopi. you can't, you Digby. Digby, actually. <laughs> Show the listeners. I, I can't. 32451. Sh- <laughs> oh my God, we're losing One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Wow, my brain. Sometimes I worry about myself. I, um. Do you ever think when we have kids, they're going to listen to us and that's how they will be brought up? Like they will listen to us going, all right, Whoopi Goldberg, sister out, cat kid. And they will start talking to people like that. And everyone will be like, are these children okay? We, I feel a little bit pukey today. You feel a little bit pukey. I don't feel pukey, I feel great. Oh, I thought you felt a little bit pukey. I feel a bit woo, but then I had an espresso and now I feel woo. That's why you're being a bit yeah. woo. woo. Oh, okay, I got it. No, uh, listen, I, I had this jumper on today. Sophie keeps telling me at the moment that I look like Jason Statham. No, because he's like, he walks in, guys. He goes, you can't see me. You but can't, he, you can't just say walking, guys. He just walks in every day and go, and he walks around with his shoulders up to his ears. I'm like, it's not attractive to have these big traps over your shoulders. Like, firstly, lay off the weights. Like, we've seen it. We've seen the tan. We've seen the six pack. We've seen the de- defined on Facetune on the each app. <laughs> yes, I do not Facetune anything, you big oh, sassy someone head. someone has been, you big sexy pee. <laughs> and I'm just saying now it's time to just, you know, chill out. We don't want to look like we've been injecting roids into us when we walk down <laughs> the not, aisle. I'm not rejecting... That bar is going to like split your white trousers as you walk down the aisle. It's not my fault that when I lift weights, it goes straight to my butt. No, I said the arms. I said, oh, No, what I did say, I said, you look fantastic, but we mm. you should just get bigger clothes now because your clothes are tight for you. They're not... I'm wearing a... Like, like a, no, but it's only... so nice. I feel like that jumper shouldn't be showing like the muscle definition. I like like a bit of bag on the arms. Okay, well, fine. I'll get a little bag on it. Do you know what's so upsetting is I put this jumper on. I was like, this is quite nice. And she said, a little bit tight. And then what I happened... I just don't like definition showing on like a man. A man. A man. Like, <laughs> if you get naked, fine. But like don't through your clothes. I don't like that tight, muscly arm showing. <sighs> I, you and know baggy tea is lovely. It's a little bit tight today, and you, you know what's happened now is that my nipples were showing through it. So what? So what did you give me? Plasters. So she I, asked me if it, he asked. I had to put plasters on the nipples, <laughs> so they don't. <laughs> so they don't show through the jumper because I'm muscling people. I don't think your nipple has anything to do with your muscle, but it's it true. does. Oh, really? Yeah. I think that's what happens when you take. I'm just, sorry, are you think I'm? You, you are taking steroids. I'm so if you do you not spotty back if you do that. I'm not taking steroids. I know you're not. Okay, good. Well, don't say you're shouting you. down the fresh fitness week. That's what's healthy, oh sister God. boy. I saw a Daily Mail article, by the way, about you and Bradley Cooper flirting. Mortified. We mentioned it on the podcast. Mortified. Pod. Mortified. Mortified. A Daily Mail article came out about Sophie speaking about. I've read all my chances with him. Made me feel better because um, I looked at one of the comments on, <laughs> on the Daily Mail. Can't wait. To see what the comments were. Uh, some of them quite nice. Sure. That happened. She probably stalked him like she did with Jamie. <laughs> but got abruptly turned down and now she's trying to save face. She's a creepy liar. <laughs> what? How do they know me so well? <laughs> Uh, <sighs> should we begin the episode? Let's begin the podcast. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Nearly Birds. I'm Sophie V, and this is my co-host Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you make it so scripted at the top? 
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you do. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Nearly Words. And this is Jamie Lang and this is Sophia Boo. I do it very simple. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Just like that. It's just calm and relaxed. Okay. Hello. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Nearly Words podcast. Uh, We've well, said it four times now. Hi, guys. I know, but it's nice. You welcome everyone back. They feel like, you know, they're welcome. Part- Happy Monday. Oh my God, guys, it, things are, we're going to get all into this later, but things have really been kicking off the past week. They're kicking. Ah, oh, suits and dresses being made, Hindus being done. Uh, one out of three. What do you mean one I out have of three? I have three Hindus, pretty much. You, you, you've got three Hindus, yeah. you did one of them. I've done two now, got one to go we had, guys, we had the most crazy week ever. Okay, and it started off, it was Valentine's Day, as you know. You did. I took at you. At 9 p.m. at night. What do you mean 9 p.m. at night? Well, we left at like 9, no? No, we left at 4. Oh, we didn't get there till 9. No, we got there at 7. No, we didn't. We didn't get there till 8.45 because I was so hungry. Do you remember? I couldn't speak. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, by the way, I eat dinner at like 6.30. <laughs> no shame. I was like, <sighs> I'm going to pass out. Jamie was like, oh, let's just stop at every gas station and get some sweets from every single one. Yeah, it was a little holiday. I was like, let's just get there and eat some food. I, honestly, guys, I've never experienced anything like this in my life. We get down there. We stay in this romantic place, a little romantic hotel We're having a lovely time. They have restaurants there as well. It's like a really cool place. I've never heard in my life Sophie scream so loudly down a house because apparently we appeared on some sort of Dumois. social yeah some sort of social Guys, media website we've made it but what uh, ev- Dumois is like a spotting it's like an Instagram and people write into Dumois I think I'm saying it right D E U X M O I and she's like really whoever it is is like very well known in America and UK and people write in like who they've seen so like Kai Gerber and Austin Butler or like the Kardashians it's like spotted Kardashian with Jamie Lang and Sophia Moo spotted in this restaurant I was like my heart (laughs) couldn't believe it I couldn't believe you were screaming that loudly about some social media website honestly I still to this day can't get over it I know you talk about it all the time (laughs) Like, you didn't even mention, like, when we got engaged, that was, like, done and dusted in, like, a couple of hours. Like, this has, like, but, been like, going for days. I just don't understand. I don't know, honey. Maybe they listen to the podcast and like it. I don't know. Surely not. Well, anyway, we got spotted in this restaurant and Sophie freaked out on this social media website. Oh, I love it because I look through it. I'm like, ooh, who's been with who? Also, also, you blink, you miss it because we were the smallest <laughs> bit of writing at the very top. Tiny little wee. I did blink and miss it. People sent it to me. I'm like, ooh, have you seen this? Anyway, we so we had dinner in this restaurant. It was lovely. We then go to bed that evening. Sophie wasn't feeling too well. She's like, oh, I just don't feel that great. No, I this felt evening. pretty shocking. I was like, oof, get back. You were like, bath time. I was like, not for me. <laughs> Into bed. <time. laughs> oh. Yeah, that sounds so creepy. What? Get my rubber ducks. <laughs> You're not my child. Anyway, we then go to bed that night. You know what? And we wake up. You know what? I fell asleep. Like, you're (laughs) making it sound like something romantic. Yeah. I was like, literally hit the pillow. (laughs) (laughs) Sophie was out like a light, which is quite romantic. And um, we got up the next day, and uh, Sophie couldn't get out of bed. She honestly couldn't get it. She was so unwell. You, you couldn't even lift your head off the pillow. And I was like, oh, and we're here for two yeah. nights. You were so on. I was like, oh my God, are you okay? I was like stroking her, like trying to make her feel better. I didn't know what was going on. And she was like, I just can't, I feel so awful. So I was like, okay, fine. Just leave her there with some water on the side. She'll be all right. I went for breakfast, came back, and <laughs> I came back into what only I can describe as like a, a war zone. <laughs> it was, it, it was magical. Sophie was sitting on the loo puking into the bin and she shat on the wall. I literally told you you couldn't say that before getting here, so that's not going anywhere. Okay, I don't know what part of your brain thinks that you can say that. I literally, before getting in here, you go, can I say this? I go, no. You were so unwell. I was so unwell. You were so unwell. You just have to, I was sat on the loop peeking into the bucket and everyone uses their imagination. Like we don't need to go into detail. I've just never seen that. I've never seen a human do that in real life. I've seen it in a cartoon. <laughs> I haven't really either. It was, it, to be fair, like it was honestly, and I know I feel like we come on this podcast and say it, we like are ill all the time, particularly me. I never re- You never are ill. But when I've you- been ill this last year, like a lot. It's <laughs> been engaged. And then Sophie was lying on the bed. I was like, oh my God, she was 
puking into uh, this ice bucket that I found. She's puking into the ice bucket. She, it was like an animal was coming. She was going, Ugh! and all she was saying to me was, I need an ambulance. No, I kept saying I to him, an call an ambulance. I, guys, I've never been that ill. In my, in my entire 28 years of life, I've never been that ill. Call an ambulance. I'm dying. And he was going, it's no. So we would just pretend to call reception and be like, beep, beep, is there anyone? And at like a hospital on Sophie, no, side, I, didn't. I was like, well, obviously there is it? I phoned the researcher and said, do you have a doctor on the side? Do you have a doctor? They were like, no, we're in a hotel. I was like, oh my God, what the- you were, honestly, I thought you were dying. Yes, yeah, so did I. It was really, it was bad time, guys, bad time. I watched Magic Mike 16 <laughs> times on repeat because I'd get to like the same 20 minutes in and then pass out and then I would wake up and I'd be like, oh, back again. <laughs> but anyway, shout the other side. And then Jamie got it second day in. And then I got it second day in. I think you faked most of it. <laughs> Sophie thought that I was making up and making myself Sick in the I bathroom. He was he liked <laughs> to make the noises. She thought I was in the bathroom, just going rrr, rrr, to like make. <laughs> I was throwing up and everything else in the bathroom, and I was hitting. You all woke the... up within eight hours, and you got back into bed, and you were like, "Oh, YouTube!" And then you woke up the next morning, and I was finally like, after two days, I can eat something, and you ate, scoffed down four sausages, and I was like, "There's <laughs> no way you had what I had yesterday because I can even open my eyeballs, let alone think about food." <laughs> And then on the weekend, you had a Hindu, but we're going to talk about the Hindu later. You're right, legend. Because honestly, the Hindu was a wild experience for me too. It's one out of three. I want to hear exactly what happened. The only thing that I remember with the Hindu is when I came and joined you in 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 the restaurant that you were in. As I walked in, you went, woo! And I arrived and your boob was hanging out. It wasn't my boob. It was a bralet, which <laughs> no. was meant to be on show. Like it wasn't like <laughs> my bare nipple. No, your boob came out. It was not out. It was. A little... Oh, it actually was. Somebody came out to me, a lady, and she chased me to the loo. I'd, mm. I'd strutted through the whole restaurant. And she was like, just so you know, your boobs. Your, your boob was hanging out. Well, the dress was like really baggy around the boob area. Okay, well. Oh, that's what happens on a hand day, isn't it? I also need a... I got another bone to pick with you, sister. What, brother? We need to stop calling each other. That is so fucking weird and creepy. No, I do. We need... I've got a bone to pick with you. All right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you in the mornings, don't let me kiss you or hug you or go anywhere near you. Okay. Yeah. You, you don't... I told you why. Mushroom breath. This little puppy yeah. is sleeping in the bed... Okay, I wake up in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Make that face because you know it should not be in the bed. I know. It's really she's naughty. so sweet. Uh, and honestly, I then have to wake up. I wake up at 6.30 in the morning. I take the puppy off the bed. She pees. She then spends, I reckon, about five minutes licking her vagina and asshole. She then gets back into bed. I try and kiss you. <laughs> you push me away. The puppy crawls onto your face and licks your face and mouth and nose for about... To, this morning, it was from 6... 40 until 7 o'clock. It licked your face. <laughs> right, firstly. No, let me not talk. firstly. And then there was one point where no. you opened your mouth. No, I didn't. You did, and that the is, puppy was licking inside your mouth. That is the most <laughs> untrue thing I've ever heard. But I think that the puppy is becoming like, it's becoming like obsessive in lots of ways. Do you not think so? A little bit. I think you're weird and jealous and insecure. Baby, that's not me being jealous and, and insecure. But do you want to move on to something else? Okay, but fine. But I just, I think there needs to be a little bit of rules with the puppy. That's the only thing I'm saying. She's coming on holiday with us to see my mum. When, when's she coming on holiday with I'm us? I'm going to Portugal with her. And I get to come as well? You can come, but you'll probably bail last minute. Why would I bail last minute? Because he's done that so many times, guys. Okay, so let's go into our favourite bit of the podcast. I know I said every single time. Are you ready for this? Listeners' messages. Damn straight. Say it one more time. Listeners' messages. Oh, say it one more time. Listeners' messages. Oh. No, no, come on. Okay, it's time for... Listeners' messages. Yeah, I got you one more time. Guys, thank you so much for all of your messages once again. Um... Every single time we go through them all, they just get more and more hilarious. And I know this is episode 47 of the podcast, and I think I've mentioned it all the time how great they are, but we really appreciate it. Okay, we have a listener's message, which is anonymous. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. No kink shaming, but this is hilarious. Last year, I matched with a guy on Hinge, and after chatting for a bit, we decided to move the conversation to WhatsApp. Love it. (laughs) He gave me his number... And to restart the conversation, I sent the bathtub emoji saying, can't wait to do this with you. No, no. Wow. As that we've been talking punchy. about going to a spa together. Oh, lovely. Okay. He then replied with, I can't wait to do this. And two emojis, a peach and a nose. <laughs> what the hell? Is that sniffing her butt? 
<laughs> I'm picturing him like motivating her butt. It's called, I think it's called a rimming. No, that's not with your nose. Okay, I don't, I don't know what it's called. I was completely baffled by this response, so I asked my friends for what they thought it meant, like we're doing. Is it what I think it is? Does he want to smell my bum? <laughs> or am I taking it too literally? I didn't let this deter me as he was super hot. So he wet up the following night, just quickly to tangent. Imagine if you have never met someone, you just <laughs> go on hinge, and then they WhatsApp you with a bum, a peach, and a nose emoji. I can't wait to see this to you. Like... <laughs> As we were heading over to the bed... This <clears throat> sketch, I'm sorry, I'm just picturing myself. So we met up the following night. He came round to mine and things were starting to get steamy. In her head, she's thinking, what is it, what is it, what is yeah, it? Yeah, she's thinking, I need to, like, spray my butt. <laughs> blow to part you. As we were heading over to the bed, he whispered in my ear, you know what I've been waiting for? The emojis. Shocked and intrigued as to whether this was actually about to happen, I got naked and lay on the bed on my tummy. No, I'm sorry, she didn't. <laughs> then it happened. He didn't just nose and peach. He parted my cheeks and inhaled my bum like it was a ventilator. <laughs> no, I'm really upset. What the fuck? He's got problems. He didn't spread her ass cheese and like sniff her bum. No, I feel like physically... It was a ventilator. I feel physically ill. That like, that's got me to the core. That description is phenomenal. <laughs> like a ventilator. <laughs> Ventilators Sorry, are also... for survival. <laughs> Jamie, no, no, no. <sighs> also, the fact that she just <sighs> got went, okay, strip bollock naked and just lay on her front. We think we're done. Oh, my God. We carried on to have really good sex and afterwards drawing some pillow talk, I told him how much fun I had, to which he responded, yeah, it was good. But next time I want you to max... What? I'm really shocked. Wait, I'm really scared. I told him how much fun I had, to which he responded, yeah, it was good, but next time, I want you to max him unwashed. You were way too clean down there. Ah! That's so disgusting. He wants to actually sniff shit. Wait, what do you mean max and unwash? He wants to max, like, maximise the unwashedness. Max the unwashed. Yes, yeah, so if he maximises. You saw you. You didn't uh, like. Yeah, because I'm. I'm half like. I'm horrified. Imagine if we had a one night stand. We never no, met before, no, and I put no, you down no, and spread I'm your scuttled. cheeks and sniffed your asshole, and then told me to never wash myself. <laughs> See, no, that's so disgusting. So, if you got a listener's message, yeah, I do. Oh so my it's god, it's anonymous. Oh, it, what is it about? It's about the ick. Oh, the the dreaded ick. Ick. The ick, she's got the ick with you. <laughs> okay, I started seeing this guy who was a mutual friend who is actually a signed football player, but I'm not going to expose him, bless his heart. Who do you think it would be? Uh, I know. Um, <laughs> hey. The big one, you know, the little one. Um, <laughs> Which one? The big little one who's like really big. <laughs> Which, what is Chelsea want to buy him like Max it, Maximus he's like 23 and like he's all over TikTok Chrissy thinks he's so cool what's his name? Maxima Maximilian come on do you know who I mean? Mason Mount yeah Mason Mount he is at Chelsea yeah there you go who's the England saying. captain? John Terry <laughs> A mutual friend who is actually a signed football player, but I'm not going to expose him, bless his heart. He initially took me out for a picnic. It was so cute. He bought blankets, all the food, and it was so nice. We then just chilled back at my house about a week later, and it was all going well until he drove to get food. And I kid you not, this man sang Moana word for word, not just for one song, the entire playlist from the movie and with hand gestures. How does the song go again? I don't know. How does the Moana song I go? I don't know. I watched it the other day. Uh, Moana <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get the ick by that at all what is if I was in the car with you and I went let it go let it go but with the hand dresses would give me but that's very you <laughs> when I say I've never got the sick this horrifically I felt physically <laughs> ill and just sat there in his fancy car trying not to either piss myself laughing of embarrassment or ab 
actually be sick. We then started planning another day and I was too deep in to say no. I find it so hard to reject people, so just went ahead with it. We went to this super fancy restaurant in London and he drove me all the way there and then home again. I was literally so full of anxiety and ick the entire night, I literally could not eat but forced myself to. When we got home, he kissed me goodnight and I jumped out the car and projectile vomited all over his car. <laughs> Fair to say we never spoke again, I blocked him on everything. At least no one can say I'm a gold digger and I was in it for the right reasons. I just feel so embarrassed for his damaged oh. ego watching our vomit over his car after kissing her oh my god would that give you the ick if someone was singing moana in a car not really what would give you the ick if you were on a date with someone if, if I... they pick their nose and eat it oh. or if they pick their nose in general like any or if they have bad breath <laughs> <laughs> if someone gave me the ick <laughs> yeah do i ever give you the ick never so <laughs> Do I ever Does this give, give you the you would, No, you never give me the egg. Do I ever give you the egg? Um, Have I ever at one point given yeah. you the egg? Well, what was it? Um, did you really want me to say that? Yeah, when was it? I told you when I first said you have bad breath and I was like, what is that? <laughs> but we were very hungover and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, it's his breath. <laughs> But you were dehydrated, like we'd been partying. We were hungover and I was lying on you, was I? Yeah, you're lying on me. <laughs> Glastonbury was quite up there, I won't lie. <laughs> we um we woke up, we were like just getting together. Like I wouldn't say I thought we were like boyfriend and girlfriend, but we definitely weren't. Mm -hmm. And like I woke up, we both woke up, everyone was hungover. I was like, had a shower, got my hair blow dried because we were in a really cool relatable tent mm -hmm. everyone was having breakfast mm -hmm. and you'd been up since we first woke up at 7 a.m and you were lit so <laughs> drunk i was like right okay it's 10 a.m mm -hmm. and then you were like we've got to go and i was like you've not showered from yesterday <laughs> like you were in the exact same clothes and i festival baby <laughs> and i had your wash bag so i was like he's not showered but Firstly, he's not brushed his teeth. I couldn't get over it. We're just dating. And I was like, have you brushed your teeth? And you were like, no. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. And then we went to the festival again. And I was the whole day just thinking, he's not fucking brushed his teeth. All right. We have a um, uh, another listener's message, but this one is by Paige and she sent us a voice note. Are you ready for this? Oh, I love a voice note. Here we go. Hi guys, Paige here from Solihull. So I just had to share this story because I think you'll love it. And I'm really sorry. Like, I know it's more poo, but I just can't help it. Like I've only just been listening to the podcast. So I'm a bit behind. Um, but basically I was climbing the three peaks last year, Ben Nevis, Scarfell Pike and Snowdon in 24 hours. That includes driving to and from them as well. And I got to the top of Ben Nevis and I was like, oh my God, my tummy's not feeling good. Guys, bear in mind I was a bit strangers ended up doing a shit at the top of ben nevis you know it's it's wild it's fine then got to the top of scarfell needed it again so then that was like then my signature move got to the top of snowden obviously shock horror needed it again all of a sudden i hear a bar behind me a fucking sheep had literally like barred in my ear i was obviously in his territory Next thing I know, I look behind me. I've got like a flock of sheep behind me. I sh literally shit myself, scream. Everybody's like, oh my God, what's going on? And I'm like, guys, like a flock of sheep are literally after me. It was terrifying. But yeah, I just had to share. Love your podcast. Bye. <laughs> she is Jay. I love her how people now... I love associate her, us with shit. I just love how people are just so confident with us that they just share anything. They just share anything. They share all their like stories and secrets and whatever it is. I know, actually, I love that. It's amazing. I just love it. You, everyone feels, this is why, honey, this is why when we share stuff, people like it. I, I, I think it's a nice thing. I think it's a really nice thing. All right, we have our Propose the Pod this week. Propose the Pod. Propose the Pod. Go on, here's Okay, well, we have our theme tune this week and it's from Elise. Propose the Pod. Propose the Pod. Everybody here should propose the Pod. Could be my favourite, yeah. That was it. Could be my favourite. Propose favorite. the pod. Propose the pod. Propose the pod. Now you've got to get this sort of like... Everybody here should propose a pod. One more time, Jack. Propose the pod. Propose the pod. Everybody here should propose the pod. Yeah, it's weirdly, if that was stuck in my head forever, it would be a nightmare. Oh, God, that's It a would real be thought. a nightmare. If you just tune into this episode, Proposing the Pod is where we ask you, the listener, to propose the pod for us. It could be to a friend, an aunt, an uncle, a friend, a sibling, a dentist, a police officer, doesn't matter. A friend, an aunt, an uncle. I don't know. So Grandma just, or grandparent. Get anyone. Child. Just go and tell everyone about the podcast and then send us in your stories how you propose the pod. Um, this week, I'll propose the pod is from Katie, who says, Hi, Sophie and Jamie. Jamie and Sophie. Love that. 
love that they switched around. Love the podcast. I have a proposed the pod for you. I was at the gym on a bike, happily listening to the podcast when Jamie told the story about his friend Nick who blew his nose in his hand and then sucked it up. Remember that story from last week? Oh my God. I audibly life. retched so loudly that the man on the bike beside me promptly turned and asked if I was okay. <laughs> I swallowed my sick and proceeded to propose the pod as an explanation. He didn't look convinced and got off his bikes only a few minutes later. So not sure how successful it was, but reckon it was A for effort. <laughs> that is amazing. That is so gross. Oh Swallowing my. your six pumps. Oh you. my God. Swallowing your... No, no. Nick, Nick, Nick. No, Nick, Nick, Nick. Guys, very exciting. Our live show is on the horizon. What day is it, Sophie? 30th of March, Oh, is. you sing it one more time, girl. 30th of March. Yeah, Whoa. baby. Uh, only a thousand tickets went, so, but don't worry, we have a little surprise for you on the horizon. Hint, hint. So if you're going to the live show on the 30th of March, we want you, we want the, your listener's message because we want you to tell it at the actual show. So if you don't mind uh, standing up in front of a crowd or being on a microphone or whatever it is or sharing your listener's message at our live show, please let us know. Just send us an email or send us an Instagram. Okay, big thank you to every single person who keeps writing in all of your messages. We absolutely adore you. Please, please keep sending them in to our Instagram at Nillywed's Podcast or our email contact at, at nillywedspodcast.com. <laughs> That's the end of Listener's Messages. Yeah, girls. Wedding update. We've signed off the budget. Have we? I knew you were going to say that. I mean, you, 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 the the amount of admin you haven't done recently, Sophia Boo. Yeah, but whose admin day is it today? I'm in my comfy clothes. I'm going home to do my admin. Baby, I have done so much admin I'm on this. I'm going to put a hair mask in. I'm going to put a face mask on. And I'm going to sit and nail it all. I ha Can I just tell you what I've done for the, the wedding? Okay, no, wedding. we've had it all so I'm many gonna, times. We've had it so many times. I'm People tell you. switch off. You like having listeners, don't you? Yeah, I know. So don't. They want to know. I've organised the photographer. I have organised the photographer for... Only our... because you wouldn't do the photographer I want. I got the one that you liked. No, but that one before you didn't want. We have um, got Emmy signed up to do our photography. No one knows who Emmy is, but she's going to come on the podcast and talk about it. It's very exciting. Um, we have I've organised a photographer for an actual wedding when we get married in London. Done that. I've organised... I've got my dresses. I know, we're going to get on to that, sister. All right, brother. Um, I, <laughs> I can't. I, I, I've, do you know what? I, I organised our party, lunch party with all of our family and Sorry, friends. Sorry, I, no, you haven't. Yes. Freya has, once again, shout out Freya. And tomorrow, I'm going to the meeting with them. So actually, swallow your words, sister boy. I can't, <laughs> like, it's so hard. It's like something slips out of my mouth. I don't know what happens. I have, um, I'm signed off the budget for the wedding at last. Yeah, and you cut it by loads, you see stingy old beast <laughs> you got all my favourite things cut whatever Sophie wants off we're going to get them rid of them are we doing the ice creams on the next yes day? so what did we cut you, you don't even know what we cut oh I know he what? wants everyone to walk there he was like transport <laughs> fuck that they can make their own way there I was like what you're like so selfish no, that's I'm a kind I'm a host <laughs> You're self obsessed. We had a we had a big decision to make whether at our wedding we supplied transportation to the venue or we didn't. I'm back because by the way, it's out in the stick. So let's all just make sure everyone gets their taxis back at four a.m. That's going to be chaos up that tiny little it's, road. Listen, I, fine, but you are excited about Hello, this now. Yeah. It, there is so much that's happened. Obviously, I went and had my suit fitting, which was amazing. We've heard about this. I know, but we, I, the, but oh god, it's all about you always. Honestly, like when does the groom get his chance? They don't. It's about the bride. Le what? You have had your chance left, right, and centre. We haven't even. Okay, fine. What? Tell me about what happened with your dress. I've got my London dress. She came round. The lovely. I'm getting so I'm getting help with like sourcing my outfits by. Bettina Looney's. Um, I don't know who that is. She's a stylist. Okay. And then Emma Beaumont is making my wedding day dress. And I had them both tried on and fitted recently. Boosh. Did, did, and wait, we, you, apparently producer Jack came with you to do it. Yeah, and I was hanging out of my ass because it was the day after my hen and I felt so awful and all I spoke about was boobs and poor Jack was just sat there like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have come to this. <laughs> did you look hot in it? 
not really knew I was hungover. You would look great. What did Bobby, the dog, think of it? So Bobby was staying with my friend Bella because it was my handy. So they met me there. Bella's one of my bridesmaids, one of my best friends. They met me there and Bobby proceeded to try and scratch up my dress, which as you can imagine was not the right thing to do because the material was quite delicate. Bobby was scratching the dress. She just wanted to get all over me. She peed the minute she walked, got into the wet bridal, white, white shop with everything in there being... Quite- Carpeted, was it carpeted? No, it was wooden floors, luckily. But obviously, I was stood like in these heels in this dress being with pins all over me. So I couldn't really fix her or like pick up the pee or wipe the poo. She then went and pooed. And so I just stood there basically looking at like the shop owners being like, sorry, can you pick it up? Because I have pins in me. I couldn't move. To pick up your dog's what was I meant to do? Go in my wedding dress. Trot, trot, trot. I don't know how I'm going to walk in that, you know, by the way. How tall are you in it? Oh yeah, worried, aren't you? Get those little Cuban heels on, sister boy. <laughs> sister boy. <laughs> yeah, cat cow. <laughs> right, okay. I yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. The dog was frantic and she did not like me being in that white dress. I think she likes <laughs> me being cozy and comfortable. Did she not like it at all? Not one bit. Wow. Okay. How was your hen do? Wild. It was pretty wild. We had bats floating around the shop. This wait, is... wait, wait, hang on a second. Explain this. So, 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 what happens on the Hindu? So, this, this is was my London Hindu. And how many Hindus are you having? I'm having. Well, I've had the London Hindu, then um, Molly and Tally, two of our friends who couldn't come to my Hindu, took me to Beaverbrook. So, so you, was... you've had two Hindus. Yeah. Oh for a spa day, which was like a handy. Okay, so and the first my, handy was the with who? The first handy was in London, and that was with. It was with Melissa, who organised your friend. Yeah. It was with Melissa, Liv, all these people. And we went for lunch. I was feeling, bear in mind, this is off the back of that norovirus. So I was feeling pretty fragile. I was about mm. to bail, wasn't I? Yeah, you were about Jamie to Jamie was like, just try have one drink. If it slips down, fine. If it doesn't, you just got to go. And I was like, okay. And then it slipped I, so well done. I felt really emotional for some reason. I haven't really told you this. I, I, I looked on Instagram to see how you were getting on because I knew the girls would be posting. And I saw a picture of you sitting with your veil on. And I got... So excited. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. There's something just so... Some people agree with marriage. Some people don't. Some people want big weddings. Some people don't want weddings. Some people want small weddings, whatever it is. Here we go, guys. Sloppy time. I am just so excited seeing you in that veil. And it was like a fake veil or whatever it was. In life. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to give a lecture. I don't know if I can do it. I'm not going to give a lecture. I'm just going to give a little bit. It's very easy just to let things pass by. Sorry, okay, soppiness over, continue. Fine. Okay, it's very sweet. Yeah, I'm just excited. But, yeah, it was really fun. We had lots of butts. What do you mean lots of butts? So one of the games was like, guess the butts. So all the girls' boyfriends, we were all in relationships, all the girls' boyfriends sent in their butt to Melissa and then she printed them all off and we all had to guess whose butt was whose. And our, and then vote whose was the best. Yeah. Jamie won. And I got 10 out of 10. For, like, you guessed everyone's butts. Uh, within a second. Like, people couldn't even guess their own boyfriend. So I was like, well, that's so and so's, that's so and so's. New within a heartbeat. Do I you, have a super recognizable. You you, you think you're super, you're a super recognizer? Yeah. Well, you can just recognize things. I could recognize like a little finger. I could tell who's everyone. No was. ways. Yes, I could. Okay, if it was just a lineup of people and it was uh, penises, do you think you I could- reckon I probably could, yeah. You could tell people's penises. Oh, I could tell their butts. I've never seen them. I could tell them in a heartbeat. Could you tell my penis? Yes, obviously. You 100% could. I'd be worrying if I couldn't. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? No, I don't know. Do you think you could recognise if I put my finger yes, out behind ob- a, Yes. You would be able to recognise my finger if yes. I put it around a corner. Are you serious? Obviously, could you not recognise mine? No. Okay, if you think that you could recognise me... All right, I'm going to get Jack and I, producer Jack and I will clip up little pictures of my body parts amongst other things, as you're yawning as I'm saying this. Amongst other body parts. Other body things. parts. And you'll see if you can guess my body part I've for next literally episode. literally no worry. I'm so excited to show you my abilities. That's amazing. I have a super recognize. I can smell things. Not anymore, but I used to be able to smell things like nobody's business. And I can see things. We all finished that and we arrived home and I got back at 12.30. You got back around one o'clock and you said, I'm just going to order some food. You were really drunk. Not a bad way, just a great way. And I've never seen, coming from the vegan over there, you ordered what I can only describe as a charcuterie board. (laughs) You ordered a charcuterie board 
at 1 a.m. in the morning. Well, you gobbled it all down. There was ham and aberico. There was salami. There was ham. There was like slices of turkey. Brazola. There was brazola. There was all... ham on aberico was phenomenal. There though, was wasn't all it? this. I think I got about ham. ten packs. There was ham everywhere. There was ham everywhere. It was like some sort of buffet in the flat. You ate it. I know I did because it was out there and I delicious. You went dig in, sister. All right, sister boy. We gotta no. stop this. <laughs> Sophie Sophie was sitting in the um, studio the other day and there's a producer that we work with, not on this show, but another show called Kat. Her name is Kat. She's wonderful. No. I said to Sophie on the phone, she's sitting next to Kat. On uh, last week. On last week, I said to Sophie, how's Kat? And Sophie replies saying, the cat is good. I went, <laughs> no, how's cat? And she went, the cat's a little tired, but cat's all right. <laughs> Thinking I was talking about Sophie. I went, oh, the cat's quite tired. She went to the gym. I don't know what. And then we also called the dog the cat. So then I was like, oh, that cat. She's been really naughty today. Cat's been really naughty. Our producer was just sitting there going, what is going on? I went, no. Cat, the producer. And you went, oh, <laughs> how are you, Cat? And then handed the phone to her. <laughs> Our yeah, nicknames but... have got to stop because yeah. we keep doing this to each other. Cat, 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 no. cat. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. I, people can't know where that word. Sophie will pick up the phone to me now and we'll go, Meow. cat, cat, cat. No, no, it's so strange. I don't understand where it came from. It's you, it's not me. Wow. Uh, anyway, I'm very, very excited about getting married to you. It's not long now. <gasps> Your stag is coming up and I am brutally excited. We're going to talk about Do that. Do you think you'll have strippers? Uh, probably, yeah. No, you won't. Okay, well then don't Georgie ask. LaRue is not ordering a stripper. She does. Unless she's over the age of 80. Sorry? I'm not having a young stripper there. Well, listen, not my problem if strippers are organised. Anyway, we're going to talk about all of this on the net. We've got so much. I'm so excited. As you can probably tell in my voice, guys, I'm so excited about what's to come. So thank you always for just constantly listening to our show. Hopefully, if you are enjoying it and you're getting married, hopefully it makes you feel better. So if it's time for um, our lovely little game that we like to play on the podcast, which is their perfect but. The question today is very topical. Is their perfect but every single time you have sex, they like to sniff your bum? But they're perfect. They like so, to sniff my bum. Yeah, it's not you. It's it's me. So I'm perfect. But I, I just like to every time. Oh god. We just want to sniff your bum every time. There would be worse things that you could do. Like if you ate your snot, that would be worse for me than sniffing, than sniffing my bum. your bum. Yeah. When I was every single time I went to the loo and don't wipe, let me sniff. No, no, I would be repulsed by you. It's too creepy. It's like almost like you're a murderer. Or every time you came back from the gym. No, no, no. Wait, let me sniff your bum. Oh. <laughs> no, it's so gross. What would you do if I did that? wouldn't mind it. Honestly, <laughs> you're so disgusting. I wouldn't mind it. Oh, God, you should have just lied for the fuck. Only if I could get a little mirror and watch you doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so disturbing. I'm really sorry, guys, if we turned off there. I don't think. So what's your answer, honey? No, I would sack that perfect guy <laughs> off, the butt sniffer, and just send him packing. The butt sniffer. He's not going anywhere near me and my butt. <laughs> oh, God, it's genius. All right, everyone, it's time for our wedding favour. Um, these are the little tips and tricks that we like to shout out on our podcast. Our wedding favour is from Amy True Music on Instagram, who is a harpist available for weddings. She's featured in Tatler, and here is her in action. No, it's our song. I want this at our wedding. I want this as you walk down the aisle. That is oh my god, Amy! I, 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 no, Amy! That's lovely. That is fantastic. We need you at our wedding. We need you at our wedding. If you want to go and check out Amy Harpist, and you're looking for someone at your wedding, go and check her out. That is 
Fantastic. That's the song, honey, that I want. River Flows New. That's the song that I played. That's the song I played to you when I proposed to you. We all know. I know, but. Guys, that was. Honestly, that song makes me emotional every single time I hear it. I can see. No, it's all right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Listen. Guys, we love you. Thank you. Listen, if you want to reply and write into your nearly words comments, please do. It doesn't even make sense. Guys, if you want to write into you listeners' messages, please copy us in at <laughs> nearly. <laughs> Try one more time. Everybody, we would love to hear from you. So please, as always, follow us and DM us at nearlywearspodcast.co.uk. <laughs> That's not, it's I don't know. I get nervous. <laughs> please slide into our DMs at nearlywearspodcast. Or you can send us an email. At nearlywearspodcast.com. <laughs> It's not that. to www.nillywestpodcast.gmail.com. <laughs> Contact at nillywest. Contact at nillywestpodcast.com. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Love you. If you're getting engaged. If you're getting engaged. Good luck. If you're getting married. Go for it. And if you're just tuning in. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, and if you're thinking about it. Oh, my God. Definitely go for it. Bye, guys. See you later. Goodbye. See you on Monday next week. Bye. Stop. Very happy. That harpist is wonderful, Jackie.